What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another digit match. On the left, Sergio is playing Diabormon and on the right I am playing Shakuomon. So this is the last showcase of the Diabormon matches on the channel for a while. Um, on this night we only had two EX6 decks which is Diabormon and the Three Great Angels. But I do like the Shakuomon deck. If you guys are interested in the deck list, I'm just going to put it up on the Discord right after I, you know, edit this video. And then put it out so if you want to see the deck list it'll be up on the discord i know a lot of people ask for the deck list but fun fact this is actually tessero's build i think maybe there's like one to two cards that i changed um tessero was playing the metal edamon like the poop alongside the armadillo man stuff and i think it's honestly really nice black and yellow colors so it's perfect like peanut butter and jelly Plus, getting the Sukumon protection. I don't know which Sukumon it is, but it's the inheritable. Obviously, you could save yourself um, from getting deleted with one of those inheritables. So, really nice. You see, Sergio has the Gain of Memory Curiosari in the back. I don't know if I like that one. If you guys are Diabormon players, let me know what's your level 4 lineup. Because, I mean, honestly, I'm interested in making the deck. I never liked Diabormon. But, I mean, it seems kind of fun. So, maybe I should make Diabormon. It's just a, a hefty... I mean, there's more support BT-17, so it wouldn't be bad. But, yeah. It's a hefty starting price. Because the aces are kind of expensive. Diabormon aces. Here, you see the Armadillo Mon's going to give me the Valkyrie Mon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think those rookies that you play off the Tamer, you have to get rid of them as soon as possible, right? Because here I'm Digivolving over it, which means I most likely have the Shakul Mon in my hand. I'm using the trainings here, so it costs nothing. But yeah, man, those rookies living every turn, they return to the to your hand at the end of your opponent's turn. Then you get to play them out for, again for free and you search even more. Sheesh. Free value. The dual tamer is obviously the most important card in the deck. When I saw Tessero's list, he wasn't playing any Cody Hitas from like BT8. He wasn't playing any TKs. Just straight up four tamers, the dual tamer, and that's it. And it works really well. You play four trainings as well, I believe. Or at least I'm playing four trainings to make sure I don't bottom deck the dual tamer. Here, I remember he gave up he gave out a sigh when he saw I deleted the uh Parada with the Metal Edamon. I'm gonna swing with the Metal Edamon. It is 14k because I have inheritables. And then I'm thinking. I don't have the inheritable to save him. Does have partition. I'm going to play out Armadillo Mon, leaving them at two. And then the Karamon cannot attack. It's pretty good. Prevents them from getting chip damage in. He's gonna go into the Kurisari Mon. Kurisari Mon does delete play cost three or less when on, on player when digivolving. That's a new Kurisari. I didn't like him to be honest, but I think maybe as a two of he's pretty good. Just to delete floodgates off the board. He's gonna trigger D Digival by two with the catastrophe cannon. I mean four to D Digivolve two is still not bad. Swing of security, the armadillo. Use the training. Training either gets the Chaos Mon or the Sukumon. Decide to get the Chaos Mon. Chaos Mon is a really good out to big stacks. It's only a one of in the deck. Reveal top three. I'm also running Ragnar Lord Mon um, to finish to close out games. So here I'm going to stay. Well, I don't even, I don't have a Digimon in the back actually. No rookie. Man, I'm thinking even the Valk Ace here. Yeah, see Valk Ace minus five K to the board. Everything is deleted. And then I'm going to swing for two checks at 14K with partition. I have to be very careful because he could de-digivolve the Valk and then obviously he would gain the overflow of 4 memory. Damn, he must not have the level 5. Yeah, he's going to de-digivolve de and he'll gain the 4 memory right back. 
Gonna play Errata. Pass turn. Now the problem with the Shokoma deck is it has no... It doesn't have any real aggression outside of the Valkase. Because the Valkase gives itself sec plus one rate. When a security card is checked. A DNA again into Shakuaman, tap to gain the memory, just to ch choke him, and then Digivolve into Metal Edamon again, pop the Errata. And I think that's pretty good. He's gonna promote the stack here. Even if he triggers the Digivolve, I would partition if he tries to delete the. No, I don't think he has enough. There's no way he has enough. Digivolve into the new Inframon. And then not enough memory. I did put him to one. He's going to pop the other training. Go into Diaboromon Ace. Diaboromon Ace, play a token. And then D Digivolve the Metal Edamon. It's not bad. Oh, wait. Is it unaffected by card effects because it's Shakulamon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has to pop the other one. Yo, I'm confused. I thought I choked him at one. I thought I didn't. I guess I didn't choke him at one. I couldn't see there for a second. Pops the token for Armageddon. I like the Armageddon, but it's mostly kind of like a hybrid for game, to be honest. Sometimes you just get that one extra swing. Other than for level sevens, don't tell me I use a level seven effect here. Uh, swing. Nah, bro. I get the feeling we forget the Armageddon effect. Yeah. Digivolve and then I I do remember this matchup. That's a that's a very big misplay. Cause the Armageddon Mon's out, I actually do not get the win Digivolving effect, right? Of our is that that's how it works, right? I don't get the on Digivolving, the one Digivolving effect of the level seven. Now nah, bro, how'd you miss that? Sergio, how'd you miss that? I don't, I don't know what his cards do. I haven't seen Armageddon since like, what, BT5? I don't play Diaboromon. Yeah, that's a very big misplay. I think I had it either way. <clears throat> I do have the redirect with the Metal Edamon, so it would have been really hard for him to come back. Yeah, because I would have redirected if he tried attacking with Diaboromon, and I would have triggered out Overflow that way. So I think either way, I, I would have still had game one. I'm going to play the Dual Tamer here, pass him over. He goes to three because of the Izzy. He's going to keep in the back Kurosari. Again, not the Kurosari you want to see. Play the Karamon. Karamon reveal top five, get an Unidentified and an Arata. Does not see the Tamer. I'm going to play Armadillo for free. Get the Sukumon. Yeah, really good. Like I said, he searches dual color yellow or I mean yellow or black, I believe. So it's just so good, the Armadillo. I did end up buying the ones from the gift box, the adventure box. I put it upside upside down just to let Sergio know. Because, yeah, man, I mean, if the Armadillo goes back to my hand, again, free value. Search for another Tamer, if possible, and another dual color card. The only one I don't really like is I, I was interested in Jet Sophie or Sophie Mon in the beginning with the Valk. But I don't know, bro. I don't think it's a good deck. I want to promote here. Play out the Armadillo. My choice of Digimon, decide to send two monkeys to the bottom, get the Ankylomon. Do I have enough Digivolve? I'm going to keep the Armadillomon there to continue get, continue getting value. Draw Shakumon effect, put the other Karamon to the bottom. Um, did I Digivolve into Ankylomon? Because I should have 
froze one of the Digimon, right? Like, I should have prevented the Karamon from attacking. Karamon here gets the Arata. Looks like he's going to give me at least two memory. But yeah, as you, as you can see, this is a slow game too. I have not touched the security yet. I am maxing out on aces. Like, I'm pretty sure I run four Valk in this deck. Just because, like I said, you need it for the aggression. I think it's four Valk and then two Metal Edamon. And then two uh, Vikemon as well. Though I'm not sure if I really like the Vikemon. I think now that Cherubimon Ace is out, Cherubimon Ace would actually be... be would actually be better in this deck compared to Vikeman. The Digivolve is also always strong though. So Alright. Speak of the devil. I guess I not. Oh yeah, I am going to it. I am going to it. Vikeman Ace, play out the training just in case he gets deleted in security. I'm going to swing and then I will delete the Karamon. And it's just one check at 13k 14k actually yo what happened to the check 14k there you go Do you guys like bike money so if you guys play this deck what is your top end like i said i four valk for me because i love deleting the whiteboards and it, it applies the most pressure but i do like the metal edamon's effect to delete tamers so that for as a two of i'm not going to remove plus the redirect is just so good into like certain matchups He's gonna use one of the trains, use a token, gain the memory back from the Karamon. Uh, yeah, because it's a seven play cost, he's going to delete. Nah, bro, that doesn't sound right. I think maybe you should have just leaked the Armadillo Mon, right? Is that the Infermon that D Digivolves? Because, I mean, he would have had to worry that I don't have another Ace. No, you know what? That's not bad. Because if he's able to get rid of both these bodies, then he's good. Well, that's how I feel. When I'm playing Imperial German and they force the partition, I feel like those level fours are so vulnerable. Like he had so much memory, he could have pretty much blasted them, but he did not. So let's see. Yeah, the other problem with Diaborma is that it has no protection. Like I said, I really like the decoy in the deck. I mean, obviously it doesn't do much versus DP reduction, but some form of protection would be good. The Ankilomon on play does prevent the Diaboromon from attacking, which is the only good thing. I mean, I really like the Ankilomon. I like the on-play effects that come out when you force partition. So I'm gonna promote. First of all, obviously use the Armadillomon effect. Bro, what you doing? How'd you get two? Did you pick up two off that? I hope I picked up the Tamer, right? Cause I saw the Tamer, Armadillo's supposed to pick up the Tamer and a dual color card. Yellow or black, I believe. Did you want to Shakuo Man? Uh, do I have six security to do that? Oh, I triggered D Digivolve. My bad. Cody Hita D Digivolve the Diaboro, and that's how I gained the overflow. I was a little worried. Minus five K. And I was like, nah, bro, Arata's only on your turn. You can't bring out those Digimon. And I thought Valkyrie was going to get deleted here because it is 3, 5, 7. But I forgot that Shakuomon actually has... Um, he's unaffected by Digimon card effects for the turn. So it's minus 5. 
And then Valve case, when something's checked out of security, when a card's checked, it's minus or at least something 8k or less. So there you go. Like I said, the decoy would have helped there. And I was removing the Diaboramon. That is two checks. Got really lucky there. Thinking if I should play the third dual tamer. He's gonna play the armadillo and then play the fourth the third tamer. So yeah, I think I did pick up the tamer off the armadillo mon. Because I mean I have three on the field already. Gains a lot of memory from the erratas. Caramon in the back. I was like, bro, you cannot use the train. No, Sergio, come on, bro. We're on camera. You cannot use the training in the raising area. I want to make this deck. I want to make Diaboramon. I don't want to spend $13 per Diaboramon plus the aces are $25 each. So maybe Sergio lets me borrow his deck. It would be nice to go to locals with it. Play Armadillo, play Armadillo. Gain a memory off the Armadillo. Swing with Armadillo. And then I do have the Shakur Mon for game. So DNA for game. And that was game two. Uh, that was a 2 0, unfortunate, but. Yeah, let me know if you guys are Diabormon players, what do you think the deck still needs? Um, is there a certain ratio that you're running? Is it like four Diabormon BT16 and also four? I think I saw some of the top lists use four and four. So four Diaboro Aces and four of the BT16, but I don't know, man. I think honestly, the Kurosaris, the level four is probably the most where most people have their deviations. Probably the level fives, but I think for sure fours. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about these matches. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're already subscribed. My name is Mr. J. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.